Hey there, so today we have another review. I'm here with uh, Daniel. He's gonna introduce himself. We're hanging out and uh, thank you, Bobby, by the way, for the uh, Jester King beer. We're gonna share some. He's a big Jester King fan. Oh, I am. Yeah, big time, big yeah. time Jester King fan. Been drinking uh, their beers for a long time. Love them. I, I am Daniel. Uh, I love beer. I love this guy. So I'm here to drink some beer. He's been enjoying beer for a while. Longer than myself, actually. Right? <laughs> so, we do enjoy some beers. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about this beer. So this is um, Dicata's Vernal Blend 1 of 2023, uh, bottled in September. Um, so this is a beer, uh, is barrel, uh, fresh beer, uh, mixed firm beer, or uh, barrel-aged beer blended together. I had it on side, so we have a little, not completely clear, but mm -hmm. I, I, I like mix, you know, mixing mm -hmm. it in, so all right, fine. Yeah, yeah, and then, it's um, cloudy. Cloudy, yeah. yeah very, so. very cloudy. And then, uh, what, what is it? The, the special thing about this beer is that they, from the winter storm in Central Texas, they got the wood and they toasted it in fire. So there's uh, like the oak, oak heart wood and the bark blended into this beer, or like, you know, touches the beer. So, okay. Yeah. I assume that was maybe part of where we get the color. Hmm. I mean, you, maybe some you know caramel. You're saying the 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 storm the the wood from the storm. Mm -hmm. And they, then they, burn, they dried and, it out, toasted it, and added it to. Bur the beer? Yeah, put it under fire. Okay. They toasted it, burned it, whatever. They, yeah. Oh, they that's kind of cool. Scored it and put it in flame and toasted it. Okay. So toasted, yeah. Sort of like oak chips. Sorry. Inside the inside the tank. Oak, oak chips, yeah, and then and then blended fresh. Well settled, my friend. Really, yeah. So yeah, it's a really nice. It's like an amberish kind of color, but. It almost looks fruited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a yeah, I, I cherry, guess that it was some kind of yeah cherry, cherry or like a like a raspberry beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe less. I mean, doesn't have that much of that red hue, but no, but no fruit. No fruit. I mean, it has that signature funky. you know funk you get from from Jester King, yeah. which a, I love. A little bit so. of the uh, vinegar acetic. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it just smells mostly funky, sour. Uh, I mean, I don't know full blind if I know there's like this charred wood character in there but yeah it's quite inviting i mean it's uh, definitely something i want to go ahead and <laughs> i get, take I get a sip yeah of. i would have guessed um maybe some wood aging you know because this wood part of it is wood barrel age and also the addition of wood so i get maybe some posted wood it character almost, or something it almost has a, a the, the, um, uh, an aroma of like a Scorch like kind of kind of sugar okay. to it. Oh, caramelized uh, sugar. Okay. Caramelized sugar. Yeah. yeah. I get a little bit of also this uh, herbal spicy dill character almost. So it's like a, like a. Like an herbal note. Herbal note. Maybe a little. Not. All this the is way, not the one that had the. Not quite garlic the, pickles, but you know a little bit of dill. No, no, no. Oh, okay, beer, okay. Because the other one had some funky ingredients. So it's just <laughs> yeah. fresh beer, old beer, barrelage. Cheers. I feel the carbs a little light. I noticed that. No, no big hiss. And, um, mm -hmm. I don't mind the car being light, though. No, no, no. It doesn't I, have to be. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be lively. And yeah, yeah. That, that, that's actually definitely something that that I, I always um, kept on wanting to have in, in the, the the beers that I tried with uh, with people over the years, uh, mm -hmm. uh, especially some of the highly carved, uh, like Dre Fontaine's. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I was always more like the lower uh, carbonation, like Cantillons mm -hmm. and other um, uh, European, you know, kind of kind of mixed mixed culture beers, lambics and all yeah. that. Um, so yeah, so, yeah. so for, for the style, I would say it's a little bit lower end, but that's not a bad thing. Um, nice combination of the, the the sourness, a little bit of that vinegary character, but not overly dominant to be off. Um, uh, uh, nice, just like you said on the nose, it almost has like a. I suspect maybe a little bit. of Caramel malt in here, maybe just a has some residual sugar for sure. Sure, yeah, and then also it's just not like dry, dry. It has right? some sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. um, body is kind of kind of light. Um, five five, so not a big. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, got it. Um, Still, yeah, but yeah, I, I get that. Like it, it's a dry-ish beer, but you get a little bit of body and sweetness in the middle. Um, uh, but it, like you were saying on the nose, almost like this caramelized sugar thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, wood has sugars, and <laughs> you burn them, and you throw them in beer. You know, maybe get some little bit of that kind of like mm -hmm. complexity of a caramelized burnt wood character. It doesn't have, um, you know, some, uh, I, you know, maybe some people suspect it have this char and burnt tire uh, roasted malt almost flavor. No, the coffee. No, 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 none of that. It more mm -hmm. biscuit and caramel and toasted, right? Toasted bread. I just got a whiff of that beautiful bread. 
mm-hmm. of that mm-hmm. last. Uh, yeah. 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 Bre- oh, yeah. We, we just had the nose. <laughs> it's definitely bread. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's definitely b- very bready in the nose. It wasn't the first thing that I perceived mm-hmm. um, when I first brought it up to my mm-hmm. nose, but it's definitely there now. Yeah. It's always hard to pin down those tasting notes, but it's always, you know, here, I, uh, farm dried hay. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I get some, actually, get dried hay and grassiness too. Yeah. Um, but we, that's very expected from, from uh, uh, Jester King's beers because mm-hmm. they, they t- always talked a lot about their terroir, you know, no. in beer. Uh, normally something, you know, people will talk about wines, but mm-hmm. having the the beautiful space they have, this farm yeah. with access to uh, malts that are malted nearby. Mm-hmm. Uh, well water. You know, well water. Hard well water. Uh, yeah. Their own, you know, funk, you know, their own mixed culture. Yeah, their, their own, own personal uh, yeah. Yeast. Mm-hmm. Uh, so many years of it, too. So much, you know... Um, adapting you know to mm-hmm. the environment yeah to their specific you know uh um flavor yeah. that that has occurred over years of of uh bugs fighting each other you know and adapting so i mean it's a it's a really enjoyable beer yeah really enjoyable beer um i mean i always give a rating you you, you, you it's your chance you have final impression and or rating what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Oh, rating? It? Or mm. a final impression as well. Like, you don't have to give a rating. You're just like, this is what I think about the beer is good. I mean, you sort of gave that already, but. Mm. I mean, I think the only thing that I would say, and it, this is just me, it's not even me trying to give, I, I don't r- like rating beers. Yeah, sure. Uh, you don't have to. Like right. use of number or something. Yeah. I, I talk about it all the time how it's, it's more important that you talk, uh, that you listen to what I say, not really the number, but I just give a number for True, true, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Uh, I would say that the, the only thing that I would like on this beer, uh, especially for the moment, mm-hmm. is more acidity. Okay, yeah, uh, I can see that. That would, that would make me enjoy it even, even more. Because without the carb, more. you want, you know, it's either give me more carb or give me more acidity. Right? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And, and the carb is partially part of that. Yeah, acidity. and it just plays into the whole like, yeah. layering of flavors. Sure. Uh, there, there is something to be said about a little bit of the right things in sure. the right amount. Yeah. Uh, and, and I am craving more acidity. Mm-hmm. I'm actually hoping that some of the other ones... <laughs> oh, no, no, we're going to get one. That, the, the, I know that the, the, the Bioton... Yeah, but that, that'll, uh, that'll be way more be sour. Ni- nice and sour. Yes. Uh, yeah. but, but overall, I mean, I, I would drink this beer any day. Yeah, uh, for sure. I, I love it. Yeah. Um, I tend to agree. Like, if you want to add more impression, you have to add more carb and or acidity. Uh, I, I also think that you don't always have to... You know, like it's nice variety. Like, you know, our portfolio doesn't have to be specced at this amount of acidity and carb. Like we, we have beers that are a little less acid, a little mm-hmm. bit more, right? Um, I, I like the complexity of like, I don't know where I'm getting all these flavors from. This is like this, like as I drink it more, it tastes woody. <laughs> it, yeah. It's almost got this like yeah. lingering uh, wood tannin, which is quite enjoyable. I, I, I'm also curious where they get this like caramel sweetness from. Um, is it from the charred wood or is it from maybe they added a little bit of like caramel malt in here to bump up the... Uh, impression of body and malt in here because I assume it can't just be, they don't even mention what malt it is but it, I assume it can't just be straight like two row or pills you know the palest of, there's color here so. you'd be surprised yeah, yeah. and I, it could be the wood a lot of, a lot of times wood. it's just like the wood. you know floor malted uh, yeah, uh, for sure uh, and yeah. then and then uh, whatchamacallit uh, a rye malt I know uh, uh, Matt from Oddbreed used to <clears> love <throat> adding rye and uh, a little bit of um uh, spelt, oh, spelt we, thank spelt. you. I was, I was, uh, <laughs> I was totally uh, missing that. But mm-hmm. uh, spelt malt uh, and, and just regular awareness, uh, mm-hmm. Pilsner malt. Pilsner malt you know? And you still get color. Yeah. yeah it's a little color. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I mean, when you throw it in a barrel, the wood is going to affect it. Uh, I assume the, the charred wood affected that as well. Um, but yeah, like not, not the, you know, not the biggest impression beer that they make for sure. Like there's more just like, this is a great food beer. I think I think we have some cheeses there. I think, I think we're very much gonna enjoy it. Uh, I'm gonna give this a solid 94. So that's that's your rating. But I don't disagree. But that's, yeah, that's a good rating. And um, mm-hmm. it's it's an everyday kind of like uh, drinkable beer that you can have on the table. You can think about it more and try to think about like the, the sweetness and the malt and the, the wood and all that stuff. Otherwise, it just has a nice balancing acidity in the breath and it is what it is. So cheers, guys. Yeah.